Greetings everyone. At Tai Chi Club we've been focusing on Tai Chi Zen walking. So I thought I'd do a bit of a summary of what we've been working on so far. Walking forwards, hands on the back and settle into your feet. We are picking up one foot slowly as you can and putting it down completely flat. No weight, empty foot, and then take your weight forward from the Dantian. Gradually fill up that empty foot. Once you have fully grounded and gotten your balance, then the rear foot, you will peel it up. And then using a bit of activation, pick up your foot, a bit of core activation, and again, put it down flat as if you're stepping on eggshells, no weight, and then gradually shift forward into it. Trying to keep upright, as in shoulders above pelvis, not so much leaning forward like that. Settle into that front foot and then gradually peeling that foot off the ground. Now, if you can do this part really slowly, great. But if you need to do a, a bit of a quicker, okay, I've got to get it on the ground, that's fine. And you just gradually, the more you practice, ideally, the easier this will become. So no weight, I've got all my weight on my rear leg here. And then gradually take it forwards. And now I can feel my heel wants to start to lift. By that point, I want to have all my weight on the front leg so that I can just smoothly lift up, gradually curling a little bit, put the foot down flat once more, and then again shift forward to fill up that empty foot. Okay, going backwards, we're going to put the hands on the Dantian, and I'm going to go through both of them. We'll do it slowly together in a moment. Hands onto your belly, sink into your supporting leg. So we're really grounded and you organize yourself. So if we've got weight between the two feet here, you've got to organize your body over your supporting leg so that you can lift the other foot without going tip, that sort of thing. So, we settle into supporting leg, stepping backwards. We are rolling the foot down, toe, ball of the foot. Now I'm keeping my weight forward as far as I can, on, on the front leg rather. Once I've rolled that foot down, that is empty. Now I'm going to fill it up, gradually take the weight back, settle into the rear leg now, and then just a little bit of a curling action from the core, ever so slightly, pick up that front foot. It's like picking up your feet with your whole body. Gradually roll the foot down and then shift your weight. And again, wanting to keep those shoulders directly above the hips, picking up that front foot. And notice here, um, the length of your Achilles, of your calves, is relevant here. So by this point, you might be needing to shift your weight because you can't get your heel down. So it depends on the length of your calves as to how soon you can shift your weight. Now I'm going to shift, gradually filling up, making that rear foot solid, sinking roots down, lifting up and rolling that foot down. All right, crash course. So let's do it together. I'm going to set it on my watch for, assuming I can focus on my watch, two and a half minutes forward, two and a half minutes back. And I'll just guide us through it. You don't travel very far. <laughs> so I'm going to start off over here and gradually walk that way. You might like to walk towards uh, your device. I think you get a bit more detail 
possibly when you're looking from the side, which is why I'm going across and also just because of the, the camera setup. Okay, two and a half minutes. Let's go. Relax and open your low back. The Mingman. Settle into your supporting leg. Picking up heel to toe, flat foot, and then gradually shift your weight forwards. Settle into that front foot and we're now peeling that rear foot off the ground. Slowly stepping down, no weight, empty foot. Now shifting forwards. And peel the back foot off the ground. Gently placing that foot down once more, shifting forward. We want to shift from the Dantian, gradually filling up the front leg and gently peel that foot off the ground. There's actually no real propulsion, no pushing coming from the feet. That front foot gently down, you can even wobble the front, front, front leg. Shifting into, take the weight forward with the Dantian, settle into your front leg. Bringing those feet together, easing up. Okay, that was two and a half minutes. Chances are it felt a whole lot longer. Let's go backwards now. Hands onto your Dantian. Settle, settle into your feet. Relax and lengthen the low back up your foot and you might feel a bit of core activation under your hand as you do that rolling your foot down then take your weight back gradually settle into the rear foot don't take your front foot off the ground until you are really comfortably balanced then picking it up and gently roll that foot down Take your weight back. And I'm just looking straight ahead off into the distance at eye height. Do try to keep your vision up at eye height rather than looking at the ground. And of course you want something reasonably stable, not uh, nothing that's moving, just to help with the balance. Settling into that rear leg. If you're wondering about the breathing, which I haven't got to it yet at Tai Chi Club, we've been focusing on the nuts and bolts here. Breathing in as you pick up your leg. Breathing out as you put it down. Then we've got a little in breath. And then as you shift your weight out, it's not uniform, the breathing. You can synchronize it, but it's not the same length in and out. 
Breathing out as you put the foot down. And in. No, I mucked that one up. <laughs> See, there's a lot to think about. So if you get onto the breathing too soon, it mucks things up. So it's this little settling period here. That's where we have that little in breath and then another out. Okay, and easing up. All right, so that was two and a half minutes backwards. I like to try that again. So we're just to go over the breathing again as we go forward, for example. I might go to the front. We're breathing in, out, and just a little in. It's like a just a top up in and then out as you shift the weight. So in, out, in, out. Let me do that on the side. So if I'm here, we're going in and out, top up in and then out. So if I do that at my natural pace, we're going in and out, top up in and out. That's what we're aiming for anyway. See how it works. Okay, happy practicing. <laughs>